Hello loves, thank you so much for visiting my channel. I hope that you're having a beautiful and an amazing day. This is a timeless collective reading for the sign of Aries. The chariot. Someone has an offer and they're still moving forward despite this death magic or whatever that was sent. I just saw the death card. The sun. <laughs> Somebody is moving right into being happy. Your energy is, is way too pure for whatever this is. Somebody here it could possibly really be doing a lot too to try to stop you from having a new beginning. Some of you, there, there's a child in a new beginning. They're trying to stop you. This is a lot of very heavy, heavy spiritual warfare. Someone is trying to stop you from having a child or just some kind of new beginning. But see, the King of Swords is here with the Three of Swords. Ten of Wands. When I say the King of Swords, to me, I think Archangel Michael. In this instance, I'm actually... See, I, I, I'm i not well-versed when it comes to, like, Anubis and all that. Um, I, I had to just read who exactly Anubis is before I did this reading. But because it came up, the Ten of Wands here with this King of Swords, it's like still you're being protected. It's like you're being protected by who or whatever is being sent to break your heart. Or I just heard, oh my gosh, I heard to stop your heart. Somebody sent out more death magic. And I know a few weeks ago I talked about somebody doing, I don't know if it's Santeria, Voodoo, something. But someone was like using cow hearts. This may have been a recent full moon. Like whoever, I know that this has to be a practitioner or a coven because they show up whenever there is, they, they, they do moon magic. These are people who do moon magic um, rituals and, and stuff like that. But again, they're telling people, oh yeah, we're going to help you, you know, manifest. But no, they're actually creating burdens for people. Because when they look into your energy and they see that you have a powerful energy, they choose to steal it for themselves. And that's why you have to be careful because a lot of people don't care about spiritual integrity. And when you are especially new to the journey and you go and you sign up because you want to learn different things or you participate in these different group rituals or whatever, you just really never know what you're tying yourself into because some of these people, I'm telling you, they look like they're they're legit. They seem like they're so nice. They're so godly, so righteous. They're energy harvesting. They're doing breakup spells. They're wishing poverty on you. They're trying to literally destroy your entire life because they do have gifts. They're looking into your life and your and your energy to figure out what blessings you have. And for some of you, whether you know it or not, you very well could be a twin flame. They're these people are trying to rob, steal, kill, and destroy you and any connections or anything good in your life. And unfortunately, you may not know it. And I'll be honest with you guys. That's why a long time ago, I made the decision. I won't get a reading from anybody. And it's a lot of uh, people who are unauthorized um, diviners, like people who will get into your energy or try to without your permission. You cannot pay me to go and get a reading from somebody else. I'm not doing it. And I don't give personal readings anymore. Like, I just, I won't have that kind of exchange. I, if I feel like it's safe, okay. But you will be surprised in these energetic exchanges. And some people out here, I talked about this recently. Some people are so obsessed with readings or knowing the future or whatever it is that they are abusing spirituality, mediumship, and divination. Knight of Swords. It's like rushing in. I'm telling you, somebody keeps rushing towards you or they're sending some type of dark energy or an entity towards you 
the page of cups because it's like for some of you you have an offer but they want it to remain at a page of cups they don't want this offer to become anything more than that you also could have a person in your life right now for some of you this coven what they're trying to do is they want this person to become very cold um very like detached cold mean rude unruly narcissistic even. they're trying to send some type of dark low vibrational energy towards you because they see that you're moving towards the sun you're moving towards having joy peace optimism you know mercury went direct yesterday and then we have a new moon so it's like miscommunication and all of that is finally about to change and then you have the new moon energy. So, yeah, this is a bunch of people here who are jealous, envious. They're trying to cause chaos and conflict. I've been picking up a lot lately. Like these people, um, a few weeks ago, I did a reading. I said people are literally trying to find your information in the public records. So that they can try to find your address because they're sending magic to your address. These people are writing your address on petitions and sending energies to your ad to your address. But see, all now that Mercury is going direct, all of this spell work that they've been doing for however long that they've been doing it, it's all reversing. For a lot of you, you're finally breaking out of some type of hex curse. Look at this. Five of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles, and the Five of Cups. I told y'all, it's a Virgo out here that's been doing something. This person has been doing spell work for money. And they've been lying about the things that they're, that they're doing. This person is doing a lot of really, really shady stuff. I feel like this, this person does a lot of dark magic, especially on partnerships. Knight of Cups. Yep. Knight of Cups and the Death. Wow. Eight of Swords, Eight of Cups, Eight, Eight. This is about your abundance. You have a marriage or a commitment that is supposed to bring in abundance. Whoever this is, this person is watching you. They're stalking you and they're trying to call judgment on this freaking divine feminine who is supposed to be going towards a very, very stable foundation and possibly a marriage or a commitment. Wow, there you have it. I know I'm not crazy. <laughs> I may talk a lot sometimes, but I, I know when my downloads come through, like what, what it is and I know what it's not. Yeah, this energy that this person sent out is on them now because this person think that I'm telling you, somebody here thinks that they're a spiritual judge. Like they think that they can judge you, but you're act, you're an actual divine feminine, like twin flame. And they're trying to call judgment on you like these people are calling on Anubis like, yeah, I want you to go and prepare that person for their ending because they don't want a person to come towards you with, with marriage. So they keep on using tools of divination to spy on the offer that's supposed to be coming towards you. It's, it's right here. The cards don't lie. They're literally watching to see who wants to marry you. But they're going in the spirit to see who you're married to. They're trying to tap into your Akashic records and everything. And they see a person coming in. They see it. Some of you, you haven't even met this person yet. But every time they see a person coming towards you, they do death magic. Look at the eight of cups, the moon. They create illusions for you to be confused. It is mental entrapment so that you will walk away from someone. Some of you, this person is in your life. They keep trying to make you walk away from this person because it has already been decided who you're supposed to be with. And this, I promise you, this is somebody that you have probably paid for readings. Or you, you, you're, you're sending this person tips, donations. For readings, this person is doing spell work on you and your connections. And for some of you, you really need to be careful because with all of this gold out here, somebody is definitely playing around with your sacral chakra. If you're having, um, especially for my, my ladies, if you're having issues with your reproductive system, it's because of this coven. Yeah, look at that. Ten of swords. They're doing everything. These people, I just heard a flatline. 
These people want your heart to be broken and they want this man to break your heart. You could have been happy all of a sudden. Now all of a sudden it's like, boom, someone is treating you all mean, cold. This is an illusion. Three of swords. They're doing chaos and conflict magic. Ten of swords. They want you to hit rock bottom because you have an actual twin flame. Somebody keeps on looking into your energy and they're like, oh, crap. They want you, these people keep saying that you're karmic, but they know there is nothing. I mean, seriously, the Empress with the Four of Wands, the Sun, and, and the Lovers, the Ten of Swords. And not only are they doing this, I feel like these people are for sure, this feels like a group of, of women who's attacking a female divine feminine. But they're also sending a text to this divine masculine or this divine masculine is constantly trying to protect this divine feminine, but it's wearing this divine masculine out. It's, this person is getting worn out because there is an entire coven attacking this divine feminine. But see, you have to, if you know about like Isis and Osiris, you have to remember when Osiris was literally murdered by his own jealous brother, Isis was in the trenches and she brought him back, back to life. And she brought him back to life for, the, for one night for them to have a child. And he was the god of the underworld. These people are trying to make you hit rock bottom when it comes to this union. Is what they're really trying to do. Some of you have no idea. I'm telling you, this is a coven. You you come into contact with at least one person in this group. They literally have been watching and monitoring your connection for the longest. And it's crazy because some of you, you don't know this person yet that you're supposed to be with. Or you know them, but like you can't seem to get on one accord with them. It's because of all of the chaos and conflict magic. But look, it's being balanced out. It's all being balanced out. All of this shadiness, all of these plots and, and schemes and scandals, look at this, of this magic that they're doing, it's not going to work. Oh, and for some of you, you can have an ex from the past. You can have an ex from your past. This reminds me, I've done a reading about this. There could be an ex from your past that is hiring this coven to attack your love life. Especially if you're a, divine, a female, divine feminine. You could have a karmic ex, soulmate. This person, they want to compete with this real twin flame. They could be working with a coven. Hiring this coven to send all of these attacks to you. Because them telling, these people are doing everything from jar spells, freezer spells, death magic, great. They're doing everything. But but it, there's someone here. Here's the king of pentacles and the king of swords. This, for some of you, this is an ex. And, and the spiritualist could be this king of pentacles. Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo doesn't have to be. But it could be them. That's out here telling this group what to do. He could have hired these people. Yeah, Six of Pentacles. He could have made done something very, very generous to have them, do, yeah, telling them for this moon magic, here it is. So you have for so for some of you, there's an ex that has paid a coven to send heavy, heavy black magic, chaos, and confusion spells towards you because they don't want you to receive any type of equal give and take or generosity or, or just re reciprocity in a connection. So for some of you, unfortunately, especially if you're with someone right now, you and this person are experiencing some type of breakup, but it, it's due to spell work. Nine of Cups. This person sees you as their wish fulfillment and you see them as your wish fulfillment. But unfortunately, you have an ex that has been paying probably has this coven of these moon witches or whatever on payroll because this person wants to be the one 
that comes towards you so that they can move on to calmer waters with you because you are the divine feminine and you are extremely abundant. So they are, this person is paying this coven to do death magic on you and to do something for sure with your sacral and with your womb so that you will be juggling and you perhaps will miss your opportunity with new love, which is the person who is your true twin flame. Because you've closed out a cycle with someone and dropped the burdens. So now somebody feels very burdened because they want to re-enter your life. So this person literally is hiring these people to do all of this. This is going to backfire. And the reason why it's so bad is because it now it's starting to make sense. Now this king of Pentacles. It's almost like somebody feels like they're your counterpart or they want to be your counterpart so bad that they literally are going in the spirit and they're trying to rewrite your destiny, which can't happen. It's like somebody, they want to be your twin flame because they want the abundance that comes with being with you, but they're not that. So they keep trying to manipulate the situation with spell work by creating burdens for you. And they're trying to slow down this offer that's coming in. Somebody is having a very, very hard time with coming towards you. This person is full of stress, fear, anxiety, because somebody is making it hard for this person to actually come in as your counterpart to be with you. So it is, it's, it's like the story of Isis and Osiris and Seth. You have this false twin flame here who is really trying to stand in the shoes of your actual counterpart. You have a counterpart that is really struggling either to come back to you or to come into your life because you have someone here who is some type of spiritualist, satanist or something. This person keeps on using their money, their status or some kind of power, like I said, to to hire these witches, wizards, or, or whatever, warlocks, to, to keep you bound. This has to change, though. It has to. And this is only so that all of this gold here, they want your sacral energy. King of Cups is here. Somebody's trying to hold you back from, some, from true love. That's all this is. This is like some type of hex or curse that they're doing repeatedly. Virgo, there you have it, Virgo. What I just say? Strength card and the Queen of Wands. Could be a Leo involved. Or somebody has Leo and Virgo in their chart. King of Cups. Could be Scorpio, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. Heavy, heavy Leo, Virgo. I'm getting Virgo, Cancer, Scorpio, Leo. But a change is, yeah, look at this. Three of Wands, the Wheel of Fortune, and the Ten of Pentacles. There's going to be an amazing change to come. You may be experiencing delays right now where you're going to gain the wisdom, the insight, the awareness, and a new perspective about this situation. And you will have victory and success with whoever this emperor is. Yeah. You need to take action with whatever type of clarity or truth that you have, though. Wow. That's so crazy to me. This is a scorned lover that has been constantly hiring people to do magic. Or I have another reading idea. I don't know if they're constantly hiring people or this could just be somebody has done some kind of spell but the, the spell, it's a hex or curse where it's constantly being redone. What I'm saying is like somebody is possibly doing like a jar and every moon they, they like put a candle on it to reactivate it or something. I, I, can't, I can't imagine them doing the same thing over and over. This is something that like is, is maybe it's, it's graveyard magic or it's candle magic or something. They, they keep reactivating this some kind of way they put more it's like they they put more energy into whatever this could be a jar or something that they have somebody definitely has some some stuff that they put together and under the moon they use this moon energy sacral chakra energy or whatever 
and they just send out attacks. It's like this chaos magic, whatever. It's the same attack. It comes out like clockwork. I've seen it for so many different moon cycles. This is a coven that's been doing this, or the, or it's just a, a hex that has it hasn't been like completely broken yet. But I mean, it's coming to an end. Yeah, this this is like a real hex or curse. Somebody cursed your connection in your love life. My goodness. So what? Lord Jesus. The Hierophant could be a Taurus. But I mean, the Hierophant will be a, sp some, a spiritual leader of some sort. Definitely could be someone, though, who is um, Taurus, Aries, Scorpio. If this is a man, Taurus, Aries, Scorpio, the sun, this person meditates, actual travels, projects. They could be doing like some kind of remote viewing or something like that. They're definitely projecting into your energy or into your space. This person is a very, very powerful shapeshifter. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this person goes into some kind of meditative state. They see you happy. Possibly with child in the future or in a blended family or something like that. You walked away from this person and they attack you each time. This person actually could be so skilled at whatever they're doing that like the way this is, it seems like they keep doing spell work. But I feel like this is such a high level magician. This person just goes in their mind and they send you the, it's, oh, they send you the evil eye. The four of wands. This is all marriage. Beautiful, like, energy. An amazing um, foundation. Ace of swords. That's the truth. So this is going to work in your favor. Whatever they're, they're doing. Three of cups. Yeah, you're going to celebrate. Wow. Literally, you have... This is marriage for you. And here, here's the coven. Three of Pentacles with a judgment card. There's judgment being called on, on this coven for their, their scheme, their scandal, for their trickery. Seven of Swords. Look, they all keep gossiping. This is a whole coven of witches. You see it. Five of Wands. Yeah, hats off to you because this cycle is closed. The world. You get to start over and free yourself. And whoever your person is, they're going to get free too. From you, you got your connection has been hexed. It's affecting you and your person. Dang. Mm. It really is. Somebody hexed your connection. The strength card definitely could be a Leo out here. Or this is just saying that you need to have the strength and the courage to really stand up for yourself. But somebody is trying to, the temperance card in the reverse. Yeah, somebody, you're going to have to get through. There you have it. Virgo, the hermit. You have um, Leo, Virgo, Sagittarius. You have to stay grounded right now. This requires a lot of strength and courage because the tempers in the reverse, you may be feeling right now like you're about to really lose control in this situation. And it may cause you to lash out, to react, to respond, to retaliate. But no, you need to stay very grounded. Spirit is saying they got this. Like this, is, you don't need to do anything. Page of Swords. God saw everything. Trust me, your entire spiritual team, they saw every sleepless night. They saw your burdens. They, they've seen all of your, your struggles. This whole situation is going to blow up in this person, in this group's face. They're sitting around now laughing, giggling, joking, and, and conjuring up stuff and mixing up potions. And it's all going to explode. There you have it right there. But see, again, look. They think that they're the spiritual judge. They're not. You are. And this person, look at this. This man here who's calling the shots, 
to this, this group of women, he's disappointed. Because this Ace of Pentacles is still yours. Whoever your counterpart is, they've located you. And this person is trying to, look at that, lovers in the reverse. Somebody hex your twin flame connection because they know that you're the divine feminine. So they try to bind you or in some kind of way. But you're still going to ace of wands, have a passion, new beginning. You're not going to stay out in the cold and heartbroken. And that's what they wanted. As above, so below. You've manifested your actual connection. The bottom of the deck is the nine of cups. So it has to manifest. You have clarity about this. The moon is in the reverse. Yeah. Here's the epiphany, the upheaval, the truth. And whoever this queen of pentacles is that keeps trying to sacrifice your connection and make you walk away, this person, yeah, using all of this, these different tools of divination, this could be a tarot reader, they're using crystal balls, what's this, crystals, jewels, books, whatever they're doing to conjure up all this stuff. It's nothing but a bunch of waste of time. And these people, this, this is a spiritualist. And a coven who was hired by an ex of yours that wanted to keep you stuck. This person took a lot of money from this person to keep you stuck and bound. But here you are. You're still going to have wish fulfillment. Ace of Cups. You're still going to receive new love. Six Six is here. Everything is going to be balanced out so that this emperor can come into your life. Despite the illusions and the confusion. This masculine is still making their way to you. So, yes, please stay grounded. Do y'all notice how, like, seriously, you have 6-6 six, six here? 6-6 six, six is here. And then here's the 9 of Pentacles and the 9 of Wands. Continues to be resilient. You're going towards the 10 of Cups. And you're going to look so good in this relationship. <laughs> Queen of Wands, 2 of Cups. Will of Fortune. Lots of blessings coming for you. I'm happy for you. I mean, I, I really do hate that so many people have to go through this. <sighs> but I mean, it's just the way that it was written. I'm seeing a deck in my head that I have not used in forever. I, I hope that it's actually here. One second. I'm seeing the wisdom of the, is it called the wisdom of the Oracle deck? It's that big red deck. That's the one that I see in my head. Let me oh shoot. Let me see if I if I have that deck here. I guess some spirits got something to say for me to see it in my head that clearly. Y'all, I hope that what I was saying about Saul and <laughs> Anubis and all them other people. <laughs> I know it made seven of cups. A little bit confusing, but I, that's how I get my downloads. I'm not apologizing for it. People who get it, get it. TikTok. Somebody is being left out in the cold. Also, for some of you, you feel like you've been orphaned, but somebody's saying there's no place like home. Somebody's coming back towards you because they want to co-create with you. TikTok. It's just a matter of time before this happens. You have 30, 40, 50 here and the number five. So the number five could be, the number five is all about changes. So somebody is about to be kicked out of your energy so that you no longer have to feel orphaned because it's time for you to co-create with the person that is the true lover of your soul. No place, no place like home. It's time for somebody to come home to you or you go home to someone and be in this union. In just a state of emotional contentment. Peace. Yep. I just said that. Peace. So it's time to go. Whatever this hex curse of this dark energy is, it has to go. And remember before I said about the water, the bathtub. Some of you, maybe you need to take a spiritual bath. But somebody is possibly connecting with you, too, through water, through your thoughts or your emotions, your higher self. I feel like some a lot of you, too, um, this water to me now seeing the cards here 
It represents a psychic connection that you have to someone. Mm -hmm. You and somebody could both have water somewhere in your chart. It's, it's causing a psychic connection between you and this person that I'm assuming is like your twin flame. This person could be in your life or they're they're about to show up in the physical if they're not in your life already. They're very, very close. Like they're really close. To the sea. It says here time to go. Time to go to the to the sea. TikTok. Yeah, it's it's time for something to happen. And I feel like that's what God is God is like. It's time. So bam, there you have a change in the wind. Something is just about to suddenly change here and now. Your person is here and they're going to make you happy, happy. <laughs> Regeneration, a fork in the road. Yeah, there was some kind of temporary standstill or delay here because of this magic or because of this hex occurs. But everything happens in divine timing. You are being pretty much molded and poised by going around and around in this toxic cycle with whoever it is who has been watching you. But you've been, you're being watched by the person that you're meant to exchange gifts with, your actual counterpart, because the two of you are going to go to Treasure Island together. This is an unfinished symphony. So this is like a past life soulmate. But I mean, it's like they're a twin flame, though, but you've known them before. Milk and honey, <laughs> all their glitters. And there's a never ending story here. See, you thought that something was for you and it wasn't. It was it wasn't for you. Whether and some of you, you know, maybe a person from your past is for you. And and whoever you may be entertaining now is not for you. But for some of you, this past person was very wicked. And they're trying to block whoever is in your life now or the person that's coming in for you. You're being told right now to be very flexible right now because you're about to be blessed. Uh oh. I just want to pull a few um, romance cards and then I'll be done. What time is it? It's almost five o'clock in the morning. <laughs> and I'm up recording. Somebody needs this message, though. I'll, I'll post a video later um, when people can will see it. I doubt anybody's up at 5 a.m. On a Saturday. <laughs> Continue working on um, your self-love. Because you and or your person are going through an awakening. Well, if you're going through an awakening, they're going through an awakening. Man. These people must have made a lot of money. Doing this spell work. Like, I just wonder who, how, the, and it's so funny because whoever this divine feminine is, it's like, you know, these people, they're all connected somehow. Oh man, I'm yawning. I'm tired. Competition. Somebody's competing with you or competing for you. Expect a phone call or text message or someone to confess their feelings. You have here release. It's time for you to move on and someone is leaving. Moving forward, leaving behind what doesn't serve. So somebody could be traveling or relocating. You could have already traveled, uh, relocated away from someone, but you haven't fully released it. A big part of um, the complete. So what I'm hearing right now is. For you to complete this lesson, you have to fully release somebody. Like, maybe you moved away from them, but you have to fully release this situation. Yeah, because something is about to happen very fast. Where you and someone are about to be spending quality time together. You have to get this person out of your energy because someone here is... A bad influence they have bad influences around them so they have toxic friends family they could be indulging in drugs alcohol they just have bad habits and this person is spying on you they're obsessed with watching you perhaps on social media 
but you're going through an awakening you're loving yourself and it is aligning you now with something that's very romantic yeah so continue to work on healing your inner child and pay close attention to your dreams make sure that you are protecting your energy some of you like i say you need to take a spiritual bath maybe i'm for some maybe you need to wash your hair cover your head just just be careful because the spiritual and psychic attacks are heavy right now uh, this half a deck that just fell out but something is very happening very soon coming soon and you're gonna have a new perspective about something i just feel like the truth is coming out about a person or a situation <laughs> did i just say secrets <laughs> Somebody's been hiding the truth. Somebody may have traveled somewhere and they lied about it. Telepathy. It feels to me like, look at this jealousy. Somebody is possibly consulting different spiritualists or witch doctors or something like that at a distance to help them to tap into your dreams or something because they're so regretful this right here is seriously you guys it's this person from your past that you left out in the cold or they left you out in the cold this person is regretful so they are going to these different groups trying to manifest you back by doing all of this heavy work on you they're hexing your love life seriously and you're manifesting a fresh new start or a new beginning, possibly with a fire sign. But you and this person right now could be experiencing emotional or physical distance or you haven't met them. But see, the thing that's keeping you from true love is this rejection wound that you have. Somebody rejected you or discarded you and it left a mark on your heart. It hurts you. But it was a lesson for you to grow and to develop. And this part, somebody was in your life to push you into a dark night of the soul to heal and learn not to be ruled by rejection. You could have been rejected even by like your, your friends or your family. But somebody here wants to come in and make you a priority and provide for you. They want something grounded and stable. They could be an earth sign or have earth in their chart. But they want a union together with you. For some of you, you have an earth sign that already has a family. But they want a union with you. And this person caused you a lot of pain. Take it however it resonates. Yeah, you have a past life connection here, though. You have a past life connection with both of these people. One is very karmic and toxic. They were contracted to bring you a lot of pain, to hurt you, to make you grow, develop, become wiser. And then one, you have a past life connection they're meant to actually be your life partner this lifetime to have like a very beautiful connection with. But something is happening very soon. And then all of this stuff that people are doing in the dark, it's all coming out. Every bit of it. But you have to let go of this never ending story. So you see, it's like you're going around and around with some kind of never ending story. Okay, because somebody wants a re to regenerate something with you now that whatever situation they they're in, it's a fork in the road. Okay, but this person they they left you feeling orphan. So for some of you, your biggest lesson with this person, this karmic soulmate, is it's a it's rejection. That's what this is. It's orphaned. You and this person both could have, you know felt like you were orphaned or alone or you had you know um absent parents or you got bullied or something so something here kind of started as like a trauma bond or like you you didn't want to be rejected by this person or the the rejection of this person was so painful you continue to let this person in your life but you have an unfinished symphony there is somebody that's coming back to you or about to enter your life that you haven't really seen the best part of this person before. They're in your energy watching you. And, and for some of you, they're protecting you. This is why you need to stay poised so that you can allow yourself to be happy. Your happiness is here and now. It's not, behind, it's, it's not your past. And you don't have to look too much into the future either. Something is going to change very quickly for you. 
TikTok though, you need to get started. Make sure you're co-creating with God and God will send the person that you're meant to co-create your life with. All right. So this was a lot, you guys. Like I said, I hope, yeah, truth be told. I hope I told the truth. <laughs> well, I know I told the truth, but I hope you can see it. Okay. Because we, we was talking about a lot of stuff. But I know everybody that watches the channel, like I said, a lot of people um have different beliefs some people really resonate with the egyptian stuff some people read the bible some people you know i just i just tell y'all what i what i pick up i put down whatever i pick up <laughs> so, and it's been a lot of confusion lately but y'all just have a lot of people who are extremely jealous and envious of the beautiful things that are coming into your life so Protect your peace, okay?